Penguins in the Fridge by Nicola Moon Joe wanted a pet. Joe's mum didn't. They're too expensive, she said, or too big, or too smelly, or too noisy. And they ate too much, and they made too much mess. In mum's opinion, pets were too everything. So that was it. Joe couldn't have a big, noisy, smelly, hairy, greedy dog, or anything, it seemed. Joe went up to his bedroom. He pulled out his bits and pieces box from under his bed and he sat playing with some cardboard tubes. Then he had an idea. He got out his paints and some scissors and some glue and he got out some black felt and some card. He painted a cardboard tube black down one side and white down the other and he painted a beady eye on each side just where the black joined the white. And while the paint dried, he cut out two pieces of card in the shape of webbed feet and he cut out one piece of card in the shape of a beak and he painted the feet and the beak orange. And then he cut two pieces of black felt in sort of flipper shapes and he stuck the beak and the feet and the slippers and the flippers onto the black and white body. There you are, you're finished, said Joe. I'm going to take you to meet Mum. This is my pet, said Joe. He doesn't smell and he's not too big and he doesn't eat too much and he never makes a mess. He's a penguin and his name's Pingwing, he added. Do you like him? I think he's wonderful, said Mum. I love him. So do I, said Joe. Penguins like cold places. So can he live in the fridge? Joe found a good place in the fridge for Pingwin, in between the butter and the yogurts, and he lived there for a whole week, and there and was no trouble to anyone at all. Joe played with him every day, and almost stopped thinking about dogs and cats and hamsters and other pets. One day it occurred to him that Pingwing might be lonely. Pingwing needed a mum and dad. So Joe got out his bits and pieces box and made two more penguins, just like Pingwing, but bigger. This is Pingwing's mum and dad, said Joe as he showed, his, showed them to his mum. I'm glad he's got a mum and dad, said mum. Are they going to live in the fridge too? Of course, said Joe. So Mr and Mrs Pingwing moved into the fridge beside the butter and the yoghurt. Every day, Joe played with Mr and Mrs Pingwing and Pingwing. Then one day he thought it would be fun if Pingwing had a, had a brother or sister. Joe couldn't decide which would be best, so he cut a cardboard tube in half and made one of each. Twins! The girl he called Becky and the boy he called Kipper. These are the twins, Becky and Kipper, said Joe as he showed them to his mum. Oh, very nice, she said. Are you sure there'll be room for them? I think so, said Joe. If I eat one of the yogurts to make space for Kipper. I can see I'd better not buy too many yogurts next week, said Mum. 
Joe ate a strawberry yogurt and he put the twins in the fridge. So there's there's Pingwing and Mr and Mrs Pingwing and Beaky and Kipper. The next day he was playing with Mr and Mrs Pingwing and Beaky and Kipper when he had an idea. He thought it was it was fun when his cousins came to stay. Perhaps Pingwing had some cousins. Joe was getting very good at making penguins by now. It didn't take him long before he made six more penguins. Albert and Hopper and Fish and Diver and Susie and Rocky. These are Peng Pingwing's cousins, said Joe as he showed them to his mum. I'm going to make them some friends tomorrow. Can I eat that banana yoghurt to make room for Albert? You'll have to, said Mum. I do like your penguins, but don't you think you have enough now? They don't smell, said Joe, and they're not too big or too messy or... Uh, but you don't, don't you think there there's too many of them? Suggested Mum. Joe didn't think there were too many. The next day, he made four more. Poppy and Feather and Snowball and Flipper. Do you like my penguins? He asked Auntie Carol. His mum had gone out shopping. Oh yes, she said. But aren't there rather a lot of them? Oh, there's still plenty of room, said Joe, eating a raspberry yoghurt and moving the butter. He arranged all his penguins on the shelf and Mr and Mrs... Mr and Mrs Pingwing, Pingwing, Beaky, Kipper, Albert, Hopper, Fish, Diver, Susie, Rocky, Pe Poppy, Feather, Snowball and Flipper. Then Mum came home. This is ridiculous, she cried, opening the fridge. How can I put my shopping away? There are just too many. Joe could see she was cross. Perhaps there were rather a lot. And he went up to his bedroom. Later he heard his dad come in. And then his mum called him downstairs. Come and see what dad's brought for you. There on the kitchen table was a tank. And in the tank were four beautiful golden fish. They're goldfish, said Dad. We thought you might like to look after them. Joe couldn't believe it. Dad put the tank on the table in Joe's bedroom and explained how to look after the fish. Joe put Pingwing and his family on the shelf opposite the tank, tank where they could watch the fish swimming. Do you like my fish? Joe asked Mum. Yes, said Mum. They're not too big and they weren't too expensive and they're not too messy and they don't smell and they don't eat too much. And most of all, they don't live in the fridge. And that's the end of the story. And there's a penguin. How you could make a penguin. But you've all made penguins at home, haven't you? I hope you enjoyed our book. Bye-bye.